Hey there everyone, it's Dan from GrowFoodSaveMoney.com with another quick growing tip for you. Today I'm going to be talking about reusing different kitchen scraps uh, as planter pots in the garden. In this example, I'm going to show you how I'm taking this watermelon rind, which I've already eaten, and uh, it's been defleshed down to the white part. Uh, my chickens went ahead and helped me do that, but if you didn't have chickens, you would just go ahead and scrape it out with a spoon. At this point, you're left with a perfect uh, planter bowl. All you need to do is poke a few holes in this, and uh, load it up with some good soil and compost and sprinkle some seeds in there um, and that's it you just start watering and uh, once it comes time to put this in the ground that's what you do you put the whole thing in the ground it's 100 percent natural biodegradable great way to reuse uh, kitchen scraps and this is a fun project you can involve the kids in um, this can be done with a variety of different fruits and vegetables um, you can do this with uh, all kinds of peels avocado peels orange peel whatever you feel Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. I'm going to plant some barrage. So, this is an herb that produces uh, cucumber flavored leaves that are added to salads and stuff like that. is uh, some dill. This is again another Baker Creek heirloom seed. And this is an aromatic. It's a late flowering. It has nice color. You can throw this in all kinds of salads and dishes. If you're not familiar. I love using this little sprayer for new startings. It doesn't disturb the soil too much. That's it, folks. So here we are about 12 days later and we've got sprouts. So let's go ahead and get these in the garden. Okay, so we're out here in the garden and I've picked out my spot where I'm gonna go ahead and plant these sprouts. You can see right now it's just harboring weeds and uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch that over and get some food growing here. It's only gonna take a second. This is called an action hoe. It does a great job at getting just below the surface to pull out, to not just chop off the weeds, but actually get the roots. I'll show you an example of that in a second. So here's an example um, of how great this hoe works. It actually gets you down uh, a good couple inches into the, the root system there instead of just chopping it off right at the top. And uh, on a quick side note, um, if any of you guys got this growing in your garden, this is the common mallow. Uh, this is an edible weed and actually it's one of the best sources of plant-based vitamin A there is. Um, although plants themselves don't produce vitamin A, they 
they do produce the precursors that your body then converts to vitamin A. So if you have this in your garden, uh, if the leaves are healthy looking, you can pick them and dry them, or you can just throw them right into a smoothie or a salad. Uh, they're not very tasty, they're bland, but quite nutritious. And uh, hey, the chickens love it too, apparently. <laughs> So at this point, these peels are really uh, have a consistency of something like a soaked cardboard. They're just ready to fall apart. And that's cool. That's what we want. We're just going to bury these whole right in the garden. After a little while I'll come back out here after um, they've adjusted and they've grown a bit and I'll go ahead and thin them out and I'll try to transfer those over to other parts of the garden. Alright, well here's some more that I've got going using the same technique and uh, I just want to encourage everybody to give this one a try. This is super easy, it's super cheap and it's a good way to just steadily keep getting stuff into the garden. Just, uh, you know, gut out that peel, fill it with some soil, sprinkle the seeds of your choice in there, water them for you know a week or two and just go throw them in the garden don't worry too much about spacing or fertilizing or all that stuff it's just a matter of getting the seeds sprouted and getting them in the garden this is a great way to do that well i hope this tip helped you in some way i hope you guys are out in the garden enjoying your day i'll be talking to you soon